Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bonnet Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz and I'm here with Barry Bonnethill at the Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get right into this week's email and it comes in from Alex. And he says, Chaz, what is the best way for a beginner to transition from practicing on the range to the very first game? When does one know they are ready? What things should a beginner know before they go out onto a golf course so they can have the best experience for themselves as well as for the more experienced golfers that may be playing that day? Any info on what a beginner should know about golf etiquette would be greatly appreciated. Now, I think I can I answer this one. Do it. Okay. Take the golf ball from my hand, grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, Barry. Well, you can tell Chaz is older, and that's an old kung fu movie. Yeah. You can, the TV show kung get, fu. Get the reruns, yeah. yeah. But uh, Alex, great question, and welcome to the greatest game you'll ever play, greatest game in the world, and you're you're line of thinking is great and and I recognize there's always some apprehension when you go from the practice area or the driving range and now you're staring your first game of golf right in the face and uh, we'll cover just a few things here in a moment that I think will help you make the transition and make the experience better for you and for your playing partners and for everyone else there at the golf course. Alex, thanks you. thank you again for the question. And remember, just for your participation, you get the official Bionic Glove. And if you'd like to participate in this podcast, it's really easy. All you've got to do, if I don't get blown over here, <laughs> is send us an email, podcast at bionicgloves.com. Remember, include the question, your name, full mailing address, whether you're right or left-handed, and what size you wear. Do all that, and we use the question. We'll be more than happy to send you a glove. I'm going to see if I can hold myself together here in this wind. So please uh, tell all your buddies to check out the podcast at bonniegloves.com and iTunes as well as in YouTube. Please leave your feedback. And also, if you're going to get a golf club, please purchase a bonnet glove for not only yourself but for a friend as it is something that can, can help you improve your golf game because it feels wonderful on your hand. So now let's go join Barry on the course to see how we can answer this week's question. Alex, so here we are on one of the greens here at Crescent Hill. And again, let me welcome you to golf. Some of the things that uh, brand new golfers encounter, number one, you're so apprehensive, it's easy to get nervous about getting out there. Let me encourage you, jump in with both feet. Find you a good player or two or someone who has played a lot of golf and let them be your golf buddy. That can help you get over the hump and move forward and they will help to school you in the areas that you will need to know. Let me touch on a couple of things with you. Number one, and this would, any golf professional would tell you this, play what's called ready golf. And that means when you hit your golf ball and someone else hits their golf ball, go straight to your golf ball without walking out in front of that other person, of course. And when it's your time to hit, be ready. Um, it, it's important to realize that a great benchmark for golf for nine holes is about two hours anything beyond two hours somebody's playing too slow and 18 holes obviously that four hour mark if I go play with one friend of mine or two we can typically if if people are moving or there aren't many people on the golf course we can we can play 18 holes in about three and a half hours three hours and 15 minutes even but you've got to play ready golf be ready to go now another thing and you may or may not know this a lot of new golfers don't know this but I, I have a ball mark here on this screen I'd like to show you how to fix this ball mark okay I tell my junior golfers when we're on the green it's like being on holy ground so you never want to scuff your feet or run or horseplay on a green but here I've got a ball mark and what I'm trying to do a golf ball has come out of the air has hit the green and has made a big mark and damaged the green now, here at Crescent Hill, we'll play about 34,000 rounds of golf a year. And so you can imagine if all those golfers who made ball marks didn't fix them, the greens would be unputtable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a golf tee. You can use a golf tee or a divot tool. And we're going to try to return the ground to where, from where it came. Okay? So it's pushed down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this grass over just a little bit. And I'm, I'm going to lift up 
on this. You can see I've got a mark here like so. I'm going to lift that ground back up. I'm just sticking this T in the ground all the way around. Then I'm going to pull the turf a little bit. Just give it a little twist. And once you lift it back up, it sort of is, is flowing into the right place. And then just tap it with your club. A putter works best because it's kind of flat. And then just give it a little tap, tap, tap a -roo with your shoe. And there you go. Now I've got a very, very nice area. And here in just a moment, after the healing process finishes, you can putt over it and never even know that was there. That's the goal. So fix those ball marks. And I tell people, don't fix yours only. Fix yours and one more. Fix two. That'll help you. Now, the other thing I would encourage you to do, and you might already be, get golf lessons from a PGA golf pro at the golf course or at, or at some uh, facility nearby. And do your very best to learn to play the right way because you, it'll pay big dividends down the road. Learn the right grip learn how to aim, watch lots of Bionic Glove podcasts, and that'll, that'll help you. There's about 67 of the episodes that have already been done, and you can go back and look through a vast library as a resource at the BionicGloves.com site, and that'll help you, because we, we have covered, myself and two other golf professionals have covered many, many, many areas of golf. But for further information, I would recommend spend time with a PGA golf professional, get the information, ask lots of good questions, and once again, I welcome you to the greatest game in the world. Congratulations, Alex.